and just prison. Zhu Sheng, a native of Yangu County, is young but light in temperament and funny. One day, he begged a matchmaker to kiss him because his wife was dead. Zhu glanced at the wife of the matchmaker's neighbor on the way. And when he saw her, he joked to her, It's so elegant and beautiful to meet your neighbor just now. If you ask for my spouse, she will be able to. The matchmaker joked, You kill her man first, and I'll figure it out for you. We're done, Zhu said with a laugh. After more than a month, Mrs. Match's neighbor went out to collect debts and was killed in the wild. The sheriff detained the victims, neighbors and land security, tortured him, but still had no clue. Only the matchmaker confessed to the joke that she and Zhu had made. And the county order suspected Zhu and arrested him, but Zhu refused to admit it. The order also suspected that the wife of the deceased had colluded. With Zhu Sheng to murder her husband, arrested the woman, and used all kinds of torture. The woman couldn't stand the torture, confessed. The court order interrogated Zhu again with the confession of the woman. She is a weak woman who cannot bear the punishment, Zhu said. She says it is all fake. If she is about to die, she must be reputed to be invirtuous. And if the spirits are ignorant, how can I bear it? I'm telling you, I did this to my husband who tried to kill her and married her. And she didn't know? County governor asked. Do you have any proof? Zhu Sheng said. You can attest to that. The order sent people to Zhu's home to search for the blood cloths, but they couldn't find them. The governor tortured Zhu again, killing him several times. This is my mother who can't bear to bring out physical evidence to let me die, waiting for me to take it, Zhu said. The governor's office escorted him home. Zhu told his mother, give me the blood clot. I'm dead. If I don't give it, I'm dead. They're all dead anyway, they'd better die soon, without suffering. His mother listened, crying into the room. Later, take out a dress and give it to him. After the county order found that there was blood on his clothes, and the personal and material evidence were all present, Ju was sentenced to death. After two subsequent reviews, there were no different testimonies. After more than a year, Ju was about to be executed. One day, the county order was on trial, and one person rushed straight to court, staring at the order and shouting, You're so dizzy, how do you govern? The people, dozens of servicemen appeared and swarmed up, hoping to tie him up. The man mustered his arms, and the servicemen cheered. I am the general before Gwanda, the officer shouted. If you dare to move, immediately kill your dog. The order was shaken and then moved. The man said, it's the palace sign who killed the man. What's the connection to Zhu? And then I fell to the ground like I was dead. It took me a while to wake up, and I didn't look like anyone else. We'll know he's the sign when we ask him for his name. He was tortured by the sheriff's court, and the palace signs confessed to all the murders. It turned out that the palace specimen was a scoundrel who knew that the neighbor had come back to collect debts. Thought that he must have a lot of money in his pocket and killed him in the wild, but didn't think there was anything. When Mr. Zhu was later told he had been tortured, he congratulated himself. On this day, he dashed into the county home without knowing what was going on. The county governor asked Zhu where he got the blood shirt, and Zhu didn't know. Tell his mother to ask. It was his mother who cut his own arm and stained it. When I checked Zhu's left arm, the knife wound wasn't fine, and the county order was taken aback. Later, the court ordered the case to be dismissed, fined and atoned, and died in custody. More than a year later, the victim's mother remarried her daughter-in-law, who was grateful for Mr. Ju's support and married him. Hearing cases is a top priority for officials, Mr. Eastwood said, We must not be discreet in this matter. Impatience, corruption and violence are incompatible with nature. Procrastination and negativity can also harm human life. If one person files a complaint, several farmers will be delayed. If one case is tried, ten families will be affected. Is that a small matter? I once told the officer not to take the pleadings out of hand. That's what I've done. If it's not a serious case, you don't have to hold people in custody awaiting sentencing. If it's not a difficult matter, why hesitate? Even if there are ignorant little villagers in the neighborhood or the trouble-ridden villagers in the mountain village occasionally, argue over small matters, 
which leads to litigation. It is only by borrowing the words of the chief executive and assessing them. Instead of all the people appearing in court, it is only necessary that the plaintiffs and the defendants get to the court. The boards and whips are immediately added, and the tangled conflicts between them can be solved immediately. Isn't that what God say, sir? I often see today's case officers, as soon as the subpoena is issued, as if I've forgotten. Those ordered to rest and take prisoners are not paid enough to lift the summons, and the knives and pens are not paid enough to hang the sign of the hearing. It's so deceptive. It takes years to get on the court, and the oil and water have dried up. But the parents, who are pretentious, are couch-ridden and indifferent. How can you know that in a hot prison, there are so many dead souls, their necks stretched out, waiting to be saved? Of course, there is no pity in dealing with the unforgiving, but how can the good people endure when they are implicated? Moreover, innocent people are often implicated in less and more cases of adultery, and the harm done to good people is more severe than the harm done to the adulterers. Why, the bad guys don't abuse them, and the good guys are easy to bully. The servicemen beat and cursed, the sergeants reached for blackmail. They saw them as good people and dared to commit atrocities against them. When these good people enter the gates of the government, they enter the sea of fire. If you can see those who are dying in court, you will ignore them. It is as if you are afraid that greed like a deep mountain or a ditch cannot be filled quickly, and you will delay for a long time. This is not yet cruel and violent, and the sins are the same. I once saw a case file in which some of the most important people in need of interrogation, but three or four of them, the rest of them innocent civilians, were innocent framed. These men may have been guilty of some minor feud in the past, or of being jealous of some money so far, so the complainants have gone to great lengths to settle the main case and, by extension, wantonly avenge the minor. If the name is written at the end of the paper, it's like a poison in the bone marrow, and the guilt in the office is a pain in the skin. They kneel, they kneel themselves, as if they were all in one place, and they come out as if they were simian monkeys. The small official could not ask the interrogator about him, and the small official could not ask him about it. In fact, he had no use for the case, but enough to let him go bankrupt, enriching the government employees, enriching his wife and selling his children, and let the small people vent their personal anger. I wish those who serve as officials, whenever a person commits a crime and surrenders himself, will release him when he is questioned, or will punish him when he is not. It's just a matter of dipping a pen in ink and moving your wrist. But it's a matter of how many lives are saved and how much positivity is cultivated. The administration has never considered this question. But where is the only thing that knives can kill and kill? All right, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.